Moving on now and hey, got milk? With calving season well underway for many producers, it's important to make sure the newborns on the farm get all the nutrition and protection they need. That's where Clostrum comes in. Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh talked with an expert to find out exactly what Clostrum is and why it's a must for your operation. With calving season in full swing, producers need to make sure they're setting their calves up for success from the moment they enter the world. And the best way to do that is by ensuring they get their fair share of colostrum before the day is done. Colostrum is the first milk that is produced by the mother cow or dam. It's extremely complex and it has important immune factors, important nutrients. Colostrum is about 22% solids compared to 12% solids of normal whole milk. Much of this extra solid is immunoglobulins, but cow colostrum also contains energy, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Immunoglobulins are antibodies that give that calf that first protection for common diseases and also infections. When they are inside the cow, the immunoglobulins are such large molecules that they cannot pass through the placenta to the calf. So there's no immune transfer from the cow to the calf. So when that calf is born, it's born without any immunity and it needs to get immunity from the environment for common diseases and also infection. So that's the importance of colostrum. Not only does a producer need to make sure a calf gets enough colostrum, but that it receives it in a timely manner in order to ensure that it absorbs the antibodies needed to fight off infection and disease. So ideally the calf will be up and nursing within an hour and consume five to six percent within six hours and the same amount by 12 hours. So for an 80 pound calf, that's two to two and a half quarts per feeding and by 12 hours old, that calf should have consumed at least a gallon of colostrum. By the time that calf is 24 hours old, very, very low percent of antibodies can pass across that intestine to the calf. So that's the reason that it's very important. While getting colostrum from the calf's mother is the best, it may not always be an option. Wall says not to worry, as there are alternatives you can use and storing it is easier than you think. You know, if you need to have other sources, you can get colostrum from other mature cows in your herd. You could purchase some or get some from somewhere else but you have to be careful. Make sure you get it from healthy cows. Talk with your veterinarian and consult with him to find out what would be the best for your ranch with experience that he has. And a lot of times, maybe we, when we have gathered some colostrum, we want to freeze that and we can freeze it and it will keep well in the freezer for up to a year. And one nice easy way is if you use a gallon Ziploc bag and fill it half full, that will be two quarts. If you lay it flat, it will store easily and you can stack other things on top of it and you have an increased surface area so when you go to warm up that colostrum it will warm up quicker and never use boiling temperatures to warm that colostrum up because that will break down the antibodies and the antibodies are what's very important in colostrum so use a warm water bath to warm up the colostrum and if that water gets cool just go ahead and add more hot water to that. And when it comes down to it, Wall says it's better to be safe than sorry. And there may be times where you're unsure if that calf received colostrum and you can go ahead and feed that calf colostrum. Maybe you have to milk out the dam or if you have colostrum on hand, you can bottle feed that calf or use an esophageal feeder. But just remember that you need to get that colostrum into that calf within that first 24 hours so you can have a good shot at making it to weaning and going on and there will not be any sickness with that animal. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Maddie McIntosh.